It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the AI flicker effect in Optics. Hope you guys liked the preview, let's get into the tutorial here. So here I've made a composition in After Effects and I have cut up and imported a clip I'm going to be using for this effect here. This is how it's going to look here. After you have uh, edited your clip or you maybe already have your clip ready, we're going to be opening up Google and then type in kyber.ai. So now when you have rendered your clip and opened the kyber.ai, it's going to look something like this. This is the home page and you're going to press create video. And here I'm going to be using the transform video style. So I'm going to click that one. And here I'm going to be uploading my clip I'm going to be using for this effect here. I uploaded my clip here and uh, the next step you're going to be doing is pressing edit your prompt. And here I usually start off by describing what I want the AI to be creating. And this is the prompt here, I see twat, still need to work on the pronunciation, I know. <laughs> and uh, in a burning lava world, uh, rapping. It's very, very <laughs> simple, but uh, yeah, I think it uh, made a cool looking result. So I'm uh, going to uh, go with this prompt here. You guys can, of course, change the uh, burning lava world to something uh, something else i sit twat in space rapping or something i don't know but uh, just play around with your imagination make different uh, versions here and then in style off i'm going to be opening up the uh, presets here and i'm going to choose a photorealistic and then press video settings and here you can also play around a little bit with the evolve here I'm gonna try to go with something in the middle, like 5. And now when I see the preview, I can see the AI is doing like too much here. Because I still wanna keep a bigger part of the clip. So I'm going to go back and then basically drag down the evolve here to maybe 2, let's say. This is the look I feel most satisfied with. So uh, when uh, you think you're done, you're going to be pressing create video. Let this load for a bit. And after your clip has been loading here, you're going to be pressing upscale and upscale 2x. And when the upscaling is done, you're going to be downloading the clip in 2x. Then you guys are going to be doing this four more times. So you guys have a total of five AI animations. And then you're going to be importing those into After Effects. Now I have imported the clips here and I'm going to mark all the clips, press S. And we're going to set the scale to 94. So now it's going to fit the composition more. And now for the flicker effect, we're going to go three frames forward. So go to the preview section here and then press this next frame option. And then here we're going to cut the layer above, layer under. So when you have made the flicker for all the clips here, you're going to restart the uh, flickering. Continue like I've done here for the whole clip basically. Now I've uh, cutted the uh, AI clips here and I've also changed the blending mode for the clips here. So I, here I use a subtract. Next one was color, hue. Just play around a lot with the uh, blending modes here and you will get a pretty cool look in my opinion. And uh, this is the uh, look we got now. Pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. Now for the final effects, I'm going to add the adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y, drag this to the top, and here I'm going to be adding Deep Glow. Set the radius to 750, then the threshold to 35%. And this is how the AI flicker effect looks. Really, really cool in my opinion. And a very unique effect you use for your music videos and uh, edits and uh, yeah, the projects you're working on. If you guys want to spice up this effect even more, you can use a effect from my color glitch pack. And I'm going to be using the color glitch effect 38. Make adjustment layer, control alt Y. Make the deep glow one invisible and add it here. And this is the look you will be getting now. I think it looks absolutely amazing and it's creating this super cool, trippy, unique look that's really gonna make your music video edit project really stand out. And the great thing about the color glitch pack is that it requires no plugins at all. So anyone with just After Effects can use it. And I also have a discount for the pack, which is going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. I'm pretty satisfied with the result we've been getting here. And uh, if 
you guys also think so, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, with amazing editing packs that's really gonna improve your editing. Also, don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.